scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I give you a guarantee. It's a guarantee. Your life will surprise you. It's true. It's true. It's true. The system for the lifting of men in the kingdom will never change. It will never be uniquely constructed just because of you. What you think about it or don't think about it makes no difference. The way, you see, God does not align to our terms. No. We are the ones who will humble ourselves and align to his ways. Are we together? If at all God is merciful, he stretches his hands to bring you. Not that he stretches to leave his position. So the idea is not to invent your way. You don't seek God at his terms. It's pride. And let me tell you something. Please listen to me. Many preachers are getting it wrong. The way they are building people will frustrate them somewhere along the line is true now i i must confess to you it is difficult to build people holistically it is very difficult because our individual callings you see the way god works with men is that because of his call upon your life he tilts you towards a dimension of himself and you will have to focus in that area to gain mastery the side effect of that focus is that you will trivialize other areas are we together now if god has called me into the ministry of healing for instance chances are that because of my focus my staying in that area all the books i read all the conferences i go to will be along the healing ministry chances are that i will pay little attention to leadership and administration because it has not been captured in my experience with god that is the reason why the unity of the body is important because seeking God in that way has a side effect but he created the unity of the body to give that balance now my refusal to align with the body will make me mentor people along a line and very soon you will see a pattern of deficiency in a particular dimension it was produced by we preachers so i can you can see people who are prosperous powerful but they have no regard for spiritual things no regard no intelligence no nothing excellence yes sir administration yes sir leadership yes sir prosperity as much as we know financially speaking yes sir but their spirits are it's unfortunate the knowledge of God, zero. Passion for God, zero. Evangelism, zero. Conformity to the life and the character of Christ, zero. Every time you see a prevalent pattern within a people, the communicators, the shapers, the molders of their understanding are to be blamed. And so I admit to you as a man of God that it is difficult to build people holistically. It's very difficult. 
very difficult because sometimes you will have to go out of your natural inclination with God to supply that balance but it is worth it if you love people are you getting what I'm saying our passions are not only dependent on the Holy Spirit they are also dependent on our age ranges please listen carefully this is not what I'm teaching tonight. I just want to express something. A young man seeking God from between the ages of 10 to maybe 25 or 30 because of the, the reality that most likely a major part of that young man's life in terms of needs and all of that is being there is usually someone who is helping him out with his decisions, with resources. Are we together? So it is justifiable that that young man does not seem to see any need in developing his mind and trying to make sure that resources are available for instance a man of 35 to 50 has his passions altered because children have come into the equation their development has come into the equation there are responsibilities at this point the implication of your life and your decisions no longer affect you alone they affect society is that true they affect the faith of another person they affect the destinies of the young ones that you are raising biologically or otherwise and then a man who is from 50 upwards his passions his interest is also different so you have to be careful you have to look at these factors in opening your spirit to be mentored are you listening to what i'm saying if i listen to a man of 65 years or 70 years he has a lot to tell me in terms of experience and knowledge but the truth is that it will be unfair for my desire and interest and passions to be forced to resonate with him i will find out that that conformity will affect my growth process are you getting what i'm saying so when god calls a man god does not only give you a message god gives you an age range where your message and ministry becomes effective most preachers don't know this if i preach to elderly people now of say maybe 60 years to 80 years let me tell you the truth they are not going to be touched by my message they will only be impressed that the things they learned old i learned young at the end of that message they won't stand up and say my ha, i couldn't sleep no there is nothing i would tell them that is worth lacking sleep the mistake has been made the lessons have been learned their focus is on pouring their lives to a younger generation please listen to me don't hate anybody but be careful who mentors you because you will be a reproduction of not only the mindset but the interests the perspectives is important the bible says david served his generation served his generation a man can be talking to you who has estates a man can be talking to you who has 30 branches as a pastor a man can be talking to you who has raised sons and daughters around the world and the truth is he does not really have any need a man can be talking to you from the perspective of his sabbath he has entered his sabbath experientially there are some things that he will not have the time to teach you are we together they will be focusing on maintaining certain levels not helping you get there because he has arrived there and chances are that when you learn from him you will only maintain your current level he's teaching you maintenance not growth are we together the way i teach and guide people 10 15 years ago i'm still a young man but it's not the same context are we together People are married now. They have families. Their needs are shifting. Their needs are changing. 
So a young man can have a fellowship where 99% of the people are unmarried, 99% are students, just got admission. The context of his teaching, his example, his emphasis. I don't expect that kind of person to be teaching on love and relationship and all of that. No. The, the messages in that kind of cycle should be very finite. God, the Holy Spirit, pressing into God. Are we together? There's no issue of counseling over love and relationship. I, I, it's on seriousness at that level. Because the, the epicenter of their pursuit should be God, to know Him. But a good leader, not just a man of God, must be able to bring relevant teachings that align with the transitory processes of people's lives otherwise a time will come where your message may be powerful but no longer relevant you see people only stay under you when they can see the applicability of your messages not the power that is dispensed from them you will be surprised that your message can become so powerful but the context of your communication no longer fits those people. So you must learn. Are you getting blessed? I don't want you to fail in life, spiritually and otherwise. So my assignment is not just to bring the word of God, the power of the Holy Ghost. My assignment is to be sensitive and to bring the teachings as we all transition together. Are we together? So that children will not come and you find out that in everything you've learned about God, there was no provision to grow spiritually while taking care of your family. Then you have to live your spiritual life to take care of your family. Because the preacher did not tell you. In his teaching you, you know God based on his teaching only if you don't have children. But now when you have children, there is no system of incorporating other things and the pursuit of God when he was teaching you how to know god you were probably a student who had all the time but right now you are not only a worker you are a supervisor and he's still giving you the template of someone who has eight hours free to love god are you seeing that now and that may no longer work and you will feel guilty that because you could not do the things you were doing before the way you are doing them based on his interpretation he will make you feel you are backsliding not knowing that every face has a strategy for remaining spiritual are you getting what i'm saying now if you don't learn this a day will come certain quality of people will never come to your church because your message does not capture god as presented to people within that frame of influence remember he told elijah eat for the journey is far by the time you become a managing director who may be in a country just for two months in a whole year the man of god must be able to bring a strategy for spiritual growth that will give you the same result as an idle student who has eight hours in his disposal otherwise you will find out that you apply your your eight hours with god everyday formula and you find out that you are knowing God but your company is crashing and then you say Kai what is all this then he will tell you leave the company and focus on God then you focus on God and find out that something about your life is becoming ineffective many believers are afraid because the things they used to do the transitions in their lives no longer afford them all the time again I never would have believed that my life would be this busy and this occupied. Time is gold for me. You see that? That means there must be a system of time redemption such that my spiritual life does not suffer and other things also will not suffer. Are you getting blessed? So we have people who know God but they are not blessed. We have people who get to a point and certain kinds of people cannot come to hear the word of God upon their lips. The reason is because they do not have an applicable message or a pattern that ministers Christ to them. Being a man of God 
is not just having power and the ability to speak hallelujah I used to preach a lot faster than I do now but I came to a point where I had to ask myself what exactly is the purpose of preaching what is the purpose of communication and I found out that the purpose is understanding it is terrible to have people sit under you for many years and really never understand you you may be impressed by their shouting Woo! and you will be so flattered let me tell you the truth with all humility you see there are levels when God brings you to every point that you are under pressure to prove has been proven so settle down and build people you see that yes I will be a foolish person at this level of my life to be proving that the anointing of the spirit is upon me to be proving whether I have access to revelations or not it's not pride these realities have been proven the thing to prove now is the hand of God by the lives you raise now you can go on to a secondary school or a campus and see a young guy under pressure for someone to shout under the anointing because at that level he's seeking for validation so his pressure will be that the, if at the end of that meeting only two people fall he can go back and lock the door for three days say lord what happened that's the reason why you see people like papa Ia Deboe. they just come and say the lord bless you and i mean they are so not concerned whether you shout or not they, they know what they are giving you. It's up to you to believe whether you have it or not. Someone can be falling in their presence and truly speaking, you see that they are not interested. The point has been proven. You can't keep proving a point forever. You must win yourself out of that childishness and focus on building people. My pride now, let me tell you this. At the level God has brought me by His grace, my pride is no longer my results my pride is your results if i celebrate my results now tea and bread say everybody come and look god gave me tea it's a sign that i've failed god has been fair enough to me now my own result is your result are you seeing that now so my focus has shifted it's not just on myself God has helped me. God has tried for me. I will be wicked to still think about myself. I don't go to preach and wondering, will they give me an honorarium? And if yes, how much will it be? No, no. My heart, God sees, is that Lord, you have helped me. You have granted me understanding. Now Lord, let your word prevail over your people. You see that? So that from nowhere, a young man, rises with a strange level of grace a family is able to capture dimensions of god that they can reveal you are finding purpose you are finding your place in life you are causing and stirring revivals across territories this for me is my joy a time must come fatherhood is not all about growing old it's all about pouring yourself into people and witnessing with all humility the consistency of the truths of God the truths of the kingdom that make men great are finite you can know them it is the pursuit of God that is infinite are you getting what I'm saying the, the keys that you need to piece together like you can get to a final year and your lecturer say you are finished you say I finished what you say you finished the course it doesn't mean you have finished learning but you have safely exhausted all that it takes to be awarded a certificate. That can happen in the spirit. That you can learn the things you need to know about certain things. And God says now your message is clear. Your priority, what keeps you fresh now is not just new revelations but the freshness of his presence. That's why in old age you will still be fat and flourishing because you are planted. Are we together when you listen to papa deboe or you listen to benny Hinn and they talk the truth is that 
most of what they say will not necessarily be new to you but why do you receive it it comes with a freshness that 45 years of ministry has not eroded are you getting what i'm saying now yes god sees my heart i detest a ministry where only the man of god or the man of god and a few people they are the ones who are prayer warriors. They are the ones who are loving God. They are the ones who are conforming into his character. And then there is a, there are the masses of followers as we call them. Broke, weak, don't know God. And for many years, they remain loyal to that anointing. It's not God's way of doing things. Three years was enough for Jesus to build certain people. And after that, like the foxes of Samson, he released them. He said, guys, I know you want me to stay, but it is expedient that I go. Because it's time for you to be on the stage too. And did they succeed? They turned the world upside down. I look at a few people who God is helping. God is helping all of us. But I look at us and our spiritual results. I look at our financial results. I look at our results of influence and all and I'm telling you, my heart is gladdened. I know. I remain committed to helping you become something that you may not understand now or appreciate. But at the end of your life, I still say it again. You will stand back and watch yourself and say, God, so this is where you are going to take me to. Hallelujah pray in one minute say lord where i have not been attentive to you take away my pride take away that pride give me the grace my son let them depart from out of your mouth keep them in the midst of your heart it says they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh pray lord let that man of god within me rise let that entrepreneur within me rise. Let that Deborah, let that Milka, let that Hannah, Rachel within me rise. This is why I am here. Let that man of kingdom influence within me rise. It is for your glory. It is for your kingdom. An heir, as long as he's a child, differeth not from a slave, but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed. Lord, I will listen. Hallelujah. Tonight I'm going to teach us briefly, just very briefly, just to prepare the ground for the seven days. By the way, please, I don't want you to miss any of these days. I'm, my heart is already excited because of what God is going to be doing. Your life will so change it will surprise you. We're going to be sharing mysteries and we're going to be praying one mystery per day that you handle and it just sets you on fire and we'll pray we're going to have a time of intense prayer praying in the spirit repositioning yourself times of encounters times of restoration of mantles of graces times of opening of new spiritual dimensions yes the prophetic is there but needs to be enlarged.
the apostolic is there but needs to be enlarged it's true that the healing ministry is there but it needs to be enlarged capacity please don't miss it this is not some activity of men no seven o'clock you are here no matter how long it takes to start just be here anywhere if you there is no space somewhere this is not a koinonia program this is a visitation that god is bringing to the land it will be a time of strange miracles few hours but the impact will linger upon your spirit make sure you fast please fast let the little children fast give them a little time they may not be able to fast six to six but except you are pregnant or under medical supervision then that that's all right but even at that doesn't mean you just eat anything anyhow are we together let your spirit be alive please off off useless movies films just suspend it for a while i beg you they don't have to be wrong all these social media distractions minimize it focus on god focus on god let what will play from your phone and your screens be worship give god one week and let him expand you you can't put new wine in an old wine skin so let god replace the wine skin so that it can take something heavier for the seasons that are coming hallelujah the protocol department will make arrangement will try to see how the buses will be available at least to bring in people and will try to finish on time but it's going to be seven days of fire in this place seven days of the strange move of the spirit epochal revelations of the truth of god's word that if and when you handle them will turn your life around hallelujah don't come alone invite someone years ago when i went for an Arbonke crusade there was no seat i stood there for six hours six solid hours because i was hungry when you are hungry you don't even see the color of the cloth of your neighbor your eyes are fixed he said if your eye be single your heart will be full of life don't just come to hear come to see you can argue with what you hear but you cannot argue with what you see i will stand upon my watch and i will set myself upon the tower so that i will see what the lord will say the lord is saying but my eyes are seeing it is what you see that you get not just what you hear. the lord put a strong burden in my heart this night just a few minutes let's talk about it the spirit of wisdom your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and i will forever sing your praise your spirit i will sing of the wonders of your word i will sing I will see of the wonders of your word, and I will forever sing your praise. James chapter 1, verse 5. Forever sing your praise. And I will forever. The Bible says, if any of you lack wisdom. So the Bible tells us it is possible that a man can lack wisdom. It does not stop him from being a human being. It is possible to live without the wisdom of God at work in you. And it says, if any of you lack wisdom. The question here before we read on is how do you know you lack wisdom because you only ask when you don't have it but how do i know that i do not have wisdom because remember the bible says every man is right in his own eyes so based on what parameter what parameter do i use
to arrive at the conclusion that I am bankrupt of wisdom. There is nobody I know on earth with the exception of few people who will admit that they are not wise. Is that true? You try telling somebody who considers himself a gentleman and say, I don't think you are exactly wise. Then you think the person will laugh at you and say, wow, I'm just learning that. No, you're going to have a big problem. The person says, not wise? Me? Am I a madman? Do I look like one? But the Bible says, if any of you realizes that he lacks wisdom. So the first assignment is not to ask. The first assignment is to find out how do you know that the wisdom of God, that the spirit of wisdom is working in your life. Are we together now? There must be a system in the kingdom that God has provided to help men understand. So I can come to the conclusion because you see, as human beings, it is very difficult for us to admit that certain things are not working in our lives. Especially for believers. We are people of faith. And sometimes we can exaggerate it and admitting the deficiency of certain qualities in our lives. It's not natural for men to admit. Are we together now? Yes. When you tell someone he can't cook, say, no, 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 I can't cook. What are you? I mean, this is it. You are evidently seeing that this meal is not servable. And the person is saying, I can cook. Because in his eyes, this is a wonderful meal. Are we together? You are seeing a gentleman who is not looking smart. And you are saying, no, no, no. You are not dressing smart. Say, no, no, no. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I'm very, very okay. So it is difficult. I'm explaining to you this, this, if any man lack wisdom, it's a very deep process to arrive at a point. Let me tell you, realizing whatever makes you come to a point where you know you do not have wisdom has to be the spirit of God. The arrogance of men does not allow for that level of admission. We can secretly desire to be wiser. We can secretly admire individuals who the spirit of wisdom is evidently working in. But to outspokenly admit, no. It's very uncomfortable. Are we together? But the Bible says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask who? Let him ask of God that giveth unto how many men? So the manifestation of the wisdom of God in the life of a believer is not privy to certain intelligent people. It's not privy to apostles and prophets. No. The giving of this operation of the spirit is given to all men. He says he does so liberally and then an upbraided not and it shall be given that means if i look at your life and i do not see wisdom i am safe to conclude at certain things number one that you have not received and you receive not because you have not asked and you ask not because you have not seen the deficiency in your life are you seeing that now that means if you look at my life and your life and I am bankrupt of the wisdom of God. Not the wisdom of men that comes to naught. The wisdom of God. If it is not in my life. The Bible says if I ask it should be given. So if it is not in my life and God is benevolent. It means that I have not genuinely asked. And I have not asked because I have not seen the need. And when there was no more vessel the oil stopped that means something about my understanding i have indoctrinated myself into believing that i have sufficient wisdom let me tell you the formula that the bible designed for men to know whether there is wisdom in their lives or not wisdom is very vocal the bible says wisdom is justified by her children wisdom is justified by her children there are fruits in your life and my life that validate the presence of wisdom there has to be fruits in your life and my life 
there are things i cannot as a human being be sure of whether you have them or not i leave that to god wisdom is not part of those because if the wisdom of god is functioning in the life of an individual it is justified by the results children there talks of the results the proceedings that come from a life that is under the influence of wisdom so how do you know tonight whether or not the wisdom of god and more so the spirit of wisdom is at work very simple look at your results look at your life unbiasedly look at your life unashamedly and then you can come to the conclusion that mm -mm, the repetition of pain the repetition of failure listen carefully the repetition of struggle the repetition of hardship the repetition of the absence of the power the grace the favor of god in your life is a testament that the spirit of wisdom may not be at work in you the spirit of god is at work in you but that dimension of wisdom may not be at work in you are you blessed lack of the wisdom of god is what is responsible for the anxiety of men you know what it means to be anxious worrisome the fear that plagues people you will always fear until you know what to do and he himself knew what he ought to do the bible took out time to talk about anxiety philippians chapter 4 and when you read from verse 6 to 7 it says be anxious for nothing please give it to us let's let's look at it before we, we talk some more about wisdom it says be the word careful there does not just mean be careless it means be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer we see prayer again you leave that we're going to touch that later but it says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to god there is an information that can take away anxiety anxiety let me tell you something it's not proof that satan is around you it's proof that the spirit of wisdom is not at work in your life it's an uncomfortable truth we must admit our world is full of people dying of anxiety where will this come from where will i mean what no no the pain and fear jesus took half of a whole chapter to talk about worry spoke about the birds of the air that break a spiritual law that is responsible for abundance it says yet your father yet not solomon arranged in all of his splendor and apparel is like one of these anxiety is proof that the spirit of wisdom is not at work anxiety stems from uncertainty there is a level of uncertainty that is around our lives financially speaking spiritually speaking so you are about to um, do certain things embark on your life's journey and then because of the gaps of uncertainty you find out that there is worry and anxiety unbelief comes in fear comes in because of fear you become self-centered because you are aware that something about you will fail so you become possessive self-centered angry and all these other elements come in i found a very interesting scripture we're going to read it and then i'll define for you what wisdom is psalms 119 from verse 98 to 100 psalms 119 from verse 98 to 100 are we there read it please one to read ah uh ah -uh. one to read thou through their thy commandments have made me wiser than my enemies for they are ever before me next verse I have more understanding than all my teachers for your testimonies are my meditation the last verse 
I understand more than the ancient. Stop, stop, don't rush it. I understand more than my enemies. You made me wiser than my enemies. You made me wiser than my teachers. And you made me wiser than the ancient. And there is a key. We're coming there. Are we together? It says, Thou by thy commandments, by thy laws, ah, you have made me wiser. Wiser than my enemies. So I can rise. Wiser than my teachers. Wiser than the ancient. Because I have kept your secret. Psalms 104 verse 24. Psalm 104 verse 24. O Lord, how manifold are thy works. Everybody say results. I want you to read it just the first line, but change works with results. Ready? One to read. O Lord, how manifold are thy results. How did the results come about? In wisdom, thou hast made them all. Lord, I look at your life and it's full of mighty works. Results. And the psalmist was careful to let us know that they did not just happen because you are God. It is by engaging wisdom. Wisdom. That these possibilities have been made manifest and the earth is full of your riches which is one of the results that you have produced in wisdom there is a relationship between results and wisdom there is a relationship between riches and wisdom how manifold how multifaceted how awe-inspiring are your works what is wisdom i put a definition here Wisdom is possessing scriptural solutions. Scriptural solutions to life's challenges and engaging them appropriately. Wisdom is possessing scriptural solutions to life's challenges and engaging them appropriately. Possessing scriptural solutions to life's challenges and engaging them appropriately. What is wisdom? Knowing what to do and doing it. Wisdom is knowing what to do and doing it. If there is no doing, it is not wisdom. Wisdom is knowing what to do and doing it. Possessing the scriptural solution. There are many solutions. There are many ways that seem it right unto a man. But the end thereof will justify what way he took. So scriptural solutions to life's challenges. And then having the possession of those solutions, you engage them appropriately. You are wise if you do that. Are we together? So you have wisdom to the degree to which we see you proffering scriptural solutions to the challenges that are around your life and others and the results that they produce. Many people, listen to me, do not possess this quality. And there is an operation of the spirit that can make men to have this quality lavishly that regardless of your age listen carefully regardless of your educational background regardless of what your level of orientation that you can be um you can have a an influence of this dimension of the holy spirit at work in your life and all of a sudden your life opens up wonder after wonder a comprehension of the scriptural solutions listen to me if i ask everyone now write your prayer request and bring it here right now 
there are people who are going to ask for pages not pieces of papers every one thing that you are writing is in need of an answer is that true the bible says the spirit of wisdom is able to route you in a way and manner that you possess the keys that it takes to turn that request into your testimony and then the fortitude to engage the laws you now know until the results become evident in your life is called wisdom proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7 to 9 proverbs chapter 4 please don't trivialize what i'm teaching you tonight wisdom is the principal thing it's using a business terminology now wisdom is the principal thing it says therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding verse 8 exalt her personifies wisdom now exalt her like you would do a lady you love exalt her is that true like you see a man treat his wife that he so loves he says exalt her and there is a reward for exalting her prize her above all else and she shall do what what is responsible for promotion it is true that God is the lifter of men but the dimension of him that lifts men is his wisdom meaning if you are in a position for a long time it's not just an attack from hell but it's a sign that the spirit of wisdom is not at work the spirit of wisdom creates motion in your life it not only creates motion it creates an upgrade to your life it is because of the presence of this possibility that the bible says the path of the just is like the shining light that shines ever brighter onto the perfect day exalt her and she shall promote thee now listen ah. it says she shall bring thee to honor it did say she shall bring thee honor honor is here it's not just a it's not just an attribute it's a realm of existence that wisdom can like an usher say follow me i will lead you somewhere regardless of your background as a preacher as a businessman, as a mother, a father, wisdom can usher you. And whilst you follow her foolishly, you will get into a realm. The name of that realm is honor. Not an event. It is how you live. Honor. That wisdom can bring a man to honor when thou dost embrace her. Are we together? Like Ruth held on to Naomi, I'm not leaving you. I have seen the value of your presence in my life. Your God will be my God. Your people will be my people. Exalt her and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor. This is what people are looking for. They are looking for promotion in the spirit. They are looking for promotion in finances. Promotion in influence. Men of God are struggling, trusting God. Increase in membership. Increase in whatever. This is the formula. God gives us and we ignore him. And then we keep searching around. Verse 9. This is what the Bible says. She shall give to thy head, hallelujah, an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver. Who is the she here? wisdom wisdom that for embracing wisdom it can veto your background it can veto any other thing in your life brothers and sisters and bring you to this possibility this is the realm that we all desire to get there and the bible tells you that the way to get there is wisdom are we together yes the Bible says through wisdom a house is built. A house is built not through desire. Through desire the intention to build is there. But the actual building is through wisdom. This ministry brothers and sisters you see was built and is being maintained by wisdom. 
every great man and woman you acknowledge around the world every great enterprise that you see and admire everyone who has come to a position of influence in the kingdom has done so by the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom years ago i was listening to pat robertson the founder of cbn 700 club and he said as a young man when he was about to start ministry he said he went to the lord he said lord i'm a young man about to start give me three things number one he said give me wisdom number two he said give me favor number three he said give me the anointing of the spirit ah, i went back to god too and i said lord thank god i'm still young number one give me wisdom boy i stayed there before moving to favor because i knew that that wisdom I, I, my life was so bankrupt of it how else would i have gotten it our society is full of unwise people it's not an insult it's a description they are sincere people but their decisions and their results are very clear that the wisdom of god of god not sophia not human wisdom we're talking of a dimension of wisdom here that has nothing to do with age and not necessarily education and all of that the wisdom of god the faculty to produce result as god at god's level the spirit of wisdom deuteronomy chapter 34 and verse 9 the reason why joshua excelled was not just that he was anointed Joshua always had the anointing. The anointing was there. But the Bible says, And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of what? The spirit of wisdom. He was already full of the spirit. And yet Moses was told to lay hands on him. How do you lay hands on someone who is already filled with the spirit? And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom not full of wisdom full of the spirit of wisdom for moses had laid his hands upon him and the children of israel hearkened unto him and he did as the lord commanded moses joshua full of the spirit of wisdom joshua full of the spirit of wisdom no wonder when moses died there was nothing much for god to tell him again he said moses my servant is dead Joshua, my only encouragement is for you to be strong. You already have the spirit of wisdom. Mm. You have it. Just be strong. You are a young man. And I know that leading these people is difficult, but there is a spirit in you. You will lead them in a way that will make you a wonder. Leadership is by the spirit of wisdom. Mm. Let me tell you this. Listen. Any man on earth, listen to me carefully any man on earth and in the kingdom that multitudes are listening to him respect him human beings are not stupid are you hearing what i'm saying you can have a crowd of foolish people but there is a level to which there is there is a level to which human beings will not be more foolish than that jesus went up the mountain and a crowd followed him there was something he was telling them there was something contained in his teachings i commend you to the word of his grace that is able to make you wise not knowledgeable hidden is a principle that can bring solutions to your pain ah. there are families that if they knew this weeping will stop it's true there are individuals that if they know this weeping will stop he said i wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll and the elder tapped me and said weep not the book can be opened when the book is open then tears i look at times in my life when i was so bankrupt of certain dimensions of wisdom and i looked at the tears that came from my eyes but no more his wisdom has come. Hmm. I will sing of the wonders of your word.
I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. And I will forever sing your praise. And for preachers, we need this so much. You know, most times we don't start ministry with wisdom. We start ministry with passion passion and then your passion leads you to spiritual activities that bring certain dimensions of the anointing and then while the ministry starts going at a point you hook in one place still anointed but wisdom you can't move further because the promoter is wisdom the exalter is wisdom the one who brings you to the realm of honor is wisdom herein lies the answer to the dilemma we see that gifted people still don't rise because to be gifted and to be wise are two different things you can be full of so much anointing and yet live an unrewarded life and yet not be able to rise in the spirit but god is changing someone's story in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i have watched people do you know um sometimes i sit down and i look at people truly speaking when i look at people i fight tears because i know what they are doing wrong i don't fight tears because of their situation i know i fight tears because i can explain why their lives are that way i have seen well-meaning lovely men and women of god that i love and honor with all my heart but I look at their lives the same way my life was and I know where they are missing it. Please, no result is a mistake. Please learn this. You may not understand what is being engaged, but there is something being engaged to produce that outcome. You may not understand what is being engaged, but there is something being engaged. A man does not just become powerful. No, no a man does not just last in ministry a man does not just become anointed brothers and sisters please listen to me the fact that you don't know what is being done does not mean something is not being done your miracle is when the solution comes and when the grace to apply it is released then you know that challenge has come to an end Isaiah 11 tells us there is a real spirit of wisdom, verse 2. That the Holy Spirit can manifest in a man as wisdom. Notice that even for the building of the tabernacle and in the Lord's house, God did not allow people to be involved carelessly. The spirit of wisdom had to come upon them to produce God's desired results. If the spirit of wisdom comes upon your ministry, your ministry will change in a way not just from human terms you will find out that the possibilities that only God can produce is what happens in your life years ago I'm not a social media person but the Lord spoke to me revealing the strategy for the next level of ministry and this is what the Lord told me I said Lord how will your word get to people and all of that yes we're going to have a tv ministry but that's for another time but how is it going to happen and this is what the lord told me at that time they sell messages you don't upload messages online and the lord said this is the strategy don't sell any message let the messages be packaged and put it online i will give it wings to the ends of the earth the wisdom of god it never made sense then what is this who has the time to download heavy mbs of an audio not video people are not, i mean when somebody can buy a cd and slot it who do you think you are but when his wisdom comes in something that looks so foolish go around jericho seven times just go around it has never been done oh god just go around and at the seventh time that act of wisdom crashes down Jericho. Brothers and sisters, that one act till today, this ministry will never recover from it. 
that one act in obedience to the spirit of wisdom that's it I live to praise your name I have no fear of what tomorrow brings the spirit of wisdom is what is responsible for being able to afford the bills of ministry please hear me there is no ministry except you want to manipulate people don't be angry at men of god that you see manipulating people for let me tell you you are doing ministry and you want to work in financial integrity and still work in financial abundance you've got to receive an impartation of the spirit of wisdom otherwise it will wear your grace out you will cry one day to death You need it in your life. There are many Christian homes that is very clear the spirit of wisdom is not there. The decisions are always leading to pain. The decisions are always leading to retrogression. Remember I told you that wisdom is justified by her children. So if I claim the spirit of wisdom is in my life and everything I do is moving me back, I should check something is wrong. Something is wrong. There are men of God who are going back and back and back. There are individuals going back. They are better yesterday than they are today. No matter what kind of prayer you pray for them. I've seen individuals that I didn't see for a long time. And you look at them and their lives are a tragedy. They are still serving the Lord. That's the painful part. They never, they, they didn't backslide. Still passionate. And you say, why is your life like this? Are these your children? Yes, sir. Why are they like this? Man of God, God is faithful. No, sir. Don't, don't, don't. That does not look like faithfulness. Is God challenging us? Some of our parents are pastors. They've been pastors for many years. I'm not talking about finances. No growth. There is no day that the ministry breaks through that you can say sinners have been saved, lives have been transformed, pain after pain. Let me tell you, repetition of pain is a sign that you need the spirit of wisdom. It is the principal thing the Bible says. It is the principal thing. There are ministries that rise and fall. They rise to a level they are doing so well. And then at a point you find out that things start to nosedive. No scandal, no nothing. Just they have exhausted the level of wisdom that can take them beyond that level. And they come down the scriptural solution to life's problem and the fortitude to engage it appropriately is called wisdom standing let me use someone come come show standing between this gentleman and his destiny whether it is spiritually speaking whether it is financially speaking the obstacle other forces are there like favor and the rest but it is wisdom that tells you what to do for other forces you know why the bible says it is the principal thing because all other forces depend on it it is when you engage the truths that are received from heaven that other forces now start coming into play the anointing this and that it is wisdom that shows you what to do for the anointing to be multiplied in your life it is wisdom that tells you what to do for favor to be activated it is wisdom that tells you what to do for restoration to come all other manifestations are dependent on wisdom so in the interim there are many other forces but the principal force wisdom are we together so i do not i know that i should get there i know that if favor comes i will arrive there i know that there is a way i can be healed i know that there is a way the prophetic gift can be multiplied but what is that way what is that way and how do i engage it it is the spirit of wisdom that has brought forth these seven days of divine visitation because there is something that you can engage that will bring other things and then the spirit of wisdom comes i can show you a man that is carrying the spirit of wisdom his results her results it is true 
wisdom is justified by her children if you accept this thing tonight then we can finish up that verse if any of you lack results if any of you lack results if you lack results you lack wisdom if any of you lack results if your spiritual life lacks potency if your finances lack potency if your influence and your leadership and whatever it is that you're involved in lacks potency no promotion no growth nobody desires your grace you are living an unrewarded life spiritually and otherwise it says that if you lack this it's a sign that the wisdom of god is not at work in you hallelujah let me share with you very briefly how the spirit of wisdom works this is the core of what i'm teaching tonight most people are aware we've taught several teachings on the holy spirit and we've taught on wisdom you can make reference to my teaching what wisdom is this but the operation how it works is where i think that most people have not been able to access it mm. how is the spirit of wisdom how does it operate how do i activate the spirit of wisdom so that it produces for me ready let's finish up the scripture james chapter 1 and verse 5 james chapter 1 verse 5 there is wisdom in the name of jesus there is wisdom in the name of jesus if if any one of you lack results which is a product of lack of wisdom what's the first thing let him ask you have not because you ask not not because god is unable to give it let him ask let him ask let him pray let him raise up a petition from a desperate heart that when i begin to pray my prayer not only brings the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom but also activates its operation if prayer can bring wisdom then prayer can make it work too are we together now yes let him pray i can know a man functioning under the influence of the spirit of god by the results that come from his prayer not just his prayer i need to see the results that come from your prayer the reason why many ministries have poor prayer meetings is because over time people have concluded that prayer does not work they cannot see the results from it do you know that praying in the spirit captures something the bible calls the hidden wisdom of god that the princes of this world did not know it says for if they had known this they would not crucify the lord of glory there was something paul was doing while he was praying and praying in the spirit that began to grant him access prayer activates the operation of the spirit of wisdom not just bringing the anointing in your life the functionality the operation of the spirit of wisdom is released as you pray while they prayed they didn't know what to do how do we advance the gospel across this territory they prayed and they fasted and the spirit of wisdom came separate me paul and barnabas this is a strategy they stood before jericho listen when you know that the spirit of wisdom is with you you will never fear when you see challenges all you need to know is to wait till the answer come many of us never wait we go ahead and say let the answer follow me and we call it faith and it damages us into pieces may never live to have a second chance when joshua got before jericho the bible says the fence of jericho could host five chariots 
fortified tooth and nail to a point that a prostitute could comfortably live in the fence the fence of Jericho was like CGC how do you penetrate the place do you shoot is it an arrow is it a gun do you jump the spirit of wisdom he said don't worry they circumcised themselves and set their heart apart and an angel just came and revealed the strategy do this do that and the Lord spoke the spirit of wisdom go around the city seven times and on the seventh day go around seven times the spirit of wisdom many of the things that we call prophecy is prophecy yes but what was uttered is the wisdom of God go and bath seven times go and bath seven times it is the solution not to all problems to your problem meaning someone else will do it not directed by God and not get any solution you see that the spirit of wisdom is God's customized solution for your challenges it's not generic is personal that's why i said it is not it is not the wisdom of the world the wisdom of the world is is universal in application like you say if someone is hungry eat god can tell you if you are hungry dance now that does not make sense but that is his solution for you go and bath seven times and the guy felt insulted Abba. I'm a captain of the Syrian army and he went to bath the seventh time the Bible says his skin became fresh you see let me tell you this is the mystery behind people doing what does not make sense and still getting results they are not making sense is that they are doing it as directed the spirit of wisdom came whatever he tells you to do do it this is the fountain of wisdom Mary knew she did they would have said ah, ah Jesus look 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 the the person who sells this wine is here he can tell you Jews were not foolish people they knew how to crush wine for kings whatever he tells you do notice that no single miracle of Jesus was repeated twice the results were repeated many times but the manifestation of wisdom brought a unique solution for every issue at a certain time he spat on the ground and put in someone's eyes at a certain time he did something else look at him but we keep repeating the same thing and we just faith comes by hearing hearing what the wisdom of god when his wisdom comes to you then you get up and do what he told you to do then your life becomes a wonder Lord, where are we going to get the venue for this meeting? I saw in my visions overflow. Lord, I can't active your venue. I can use my brain to look at several venues. Which venue in Zaria will contain the crowd you are showing me? Just keep praying. Shakabakatakatabata. CGC, the spirit of wisdom. See that? As at the time the Lord spoke, the building had not even been expanded. This, when the spirit of wisdom speaks, don't doubt. You can walk on water and every other person who is walking sings except you because the spirit of wisdom is the dimension of the Holy Spirit that will ensure that what you see this is what makes the life of certain people look miraculous you are doing the same thing but they come and do it and get strange results because they don't do it as desired they wait faith waits until wisdom speaks you don't just act carelessly just because you know. No. Wisdom is manifested in prayer. When we pray, the spirit of wisdom begins to speak. Learn this. Most of us, we are so distracted in our prayer that we do not hear the communications of the spirit of wisdom. Lord, what is the way out to this predicament and challenge in my life? And the Lord says, pray. And we pray after five minutes we say god you are not speaking please good night and we just we cheat ourselves there you don't pray as long as you want you pray till the answer comes it's not the issue of 10 minutes or one hour it is when it comes there is an object to your prayer and you begin to pray when when 
when CGC became full and the overflows became full, it was obvious that when there was a program here, there was no other venue that could take us. Lord, what is going to be the way out of this? When you know this, you know that there's nothing called impossible. Impossible is the name given to the state before the arrival of the wisdom of God. When the wisdom of God comes, it will turn a mountain, I tell you, into a level plain ground. Is God speaking to you? Hmm. And all of a sudden, I was praying one time. And the Lord said, because of this, every time Friday night is not available, Sunday night will be available. As simple as it is, that ended the issue of trying to look for all of these things. Lord, the overflows are full now to the roadside. What do we do next? By his wisdom, God was able to profess solution. And we're able to host people. Overflow three is bigger than overflow one, two, and three and i mean overflow one and two together the wisdom of god you see you never see how it would have happened until wisdom creates the way then you look and say ah, why didn't i think about it because your small brain cannot think about it my brother you need the wisdom of god joseph after he finished interpreting the dream then the spirit of wisdom came hear the spirit of wisdom speaking let pharaoh find a man who is discreet and wise and appoint him over this and that when there was problem and the people were arguing and it was almost killing moses moses could not do his work because there were so many people and god told him mr man you are going to kill yourself let the spirit of wisdom guide you set men thousands and hundreds and fifties and then appoint elders to take care of them. Then you just play supervisory roles. Ah, and Moses found rest. He would have died and said it's the will of God. How many pastors die because they love God, but there is no manifestation of the spirit of wisdom to guide the affairs. By the grace of God, one of the principles that help in my being efficient in ministry is the fact that by his wisdom we have created a robust leadership structure that allows me to focus on the ministry of word and prayer. I don't have to come here in the afternoon to check to say, ah, I hope these people did their duty. Through wisdom, a house is built. Is God speaking to us? Everybody say prayer. Shout it, prayer. That means if the devil attacks your prayer life, what is he attacking? He's attacking the arrival of a scriptural solution that brings testimonies for you. When you set yourself apart to pray and the devil said it does not matter, among other things, he's robbing you of access to the wisdom of God. Say, I will pray. Shout it. Say, I will pray. Men who pray access the wisdom of god they come up from their prayer life with very strange solutions very very strange solutions sometimes solutions that don't make sense do not do not downplay on a leader that knows how to get wisdom through prayer when you say we have come to our wit's end then you see another dimension of grace and wisdom number two how is wisdom activated Wisdom is activated through meditation. Meditation. Noisy people, sorry for you. This is where the devil cheats us. We live in a noisy society. If you are not making noise, your phone is making noise. If your phone is not making noise, the television is making noise. If the television is not making noise, the well-wishers around your house are making noise. Our lives are full of noise that cheats us. There is a dimension of wisdom that only silence can bring. Meditation. Great leaders meditate. You sit down. Thank you. There's got to be a way out. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And you sit quietly. Do you know sometimes I do this from morning till night. Meditating like a fool. Sometimes I just kneel down in front of my chair and put my head down. I'm waiting waiting and the answer will never come till sometimes late in the night the spirit of wisdom comes majestically doesn't come in a rush and foolishly and carelessly if you don't have patience forget about it 
because he will not come sometimes you finish all of those things you are praying in the night you just wake up to stretch a little and fire falls from heaven and you sit down this is it this is it <laughs> it will break every chain break every chain break every chain it will break every chain break every chain break every chain is the wisdom of god working in your life oh i fell down the other day when you said receive wisdom do you meditate no sir then the spirit of wisdom may be there but you're not aligning sufficiently that's why many men of god don't have messages to preach because they write a list of messages and preach one by one and they finish the 35th one and the year is not even up to half the year is not halfway gone and you wonder what do i do inspiration comes in the place of meditation never forget what does it mean to meditate to ponder ponder not just on anything to ponder on truth ponder on the word of god not just to mutter but to ponder to think it's called imagination it's not like imagination it is called imagination the creation of images by the spirit ah. genesis 11 before nimrod began to build he called the people and they began to meditate meditation is not just sitting down under a tree that's a wonderful um, um what they call it a wonderful way of stimulating meditation but meditation is where your mind is called to a point where it is stimulated to begin to create creativity is a product of meditation let me tell you how the spirit of wisdom works the spirit of wisdom is a creative spirit is the first dimension of the holy spirit we see in genesis chapter one creation the spirit of wisdom creates it creates solutions see what i'm teaching you is 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 a jackpot to your success in life if you understand it creation the solution to every problem you seek already exists in christ but there is a system of transporting it from the realm of the spirit it is called creation it is called the power of imagination where you give the holy spirit your mind like a woman's womb and you allow him to brood upon it that's what happens in meditation you offer like a wife gives her womb over to her husband to be implanted with a seed that's what happens many of us are not creators creation is not just by speaking it is out of the abundance of the heart when that incubation has happened then your speaking is among the process that makes it manifest not many people will teach you this thing i'm teaching you the spirit of wisdom will make your life a wonder if you know how it works watch jesus this woman was caught in adultery the very act of it this is a kind of question where both yes and no would chain you and jesus kept quiet and was writing the spirit of wisdom immediately the spirit of wisdom landed then he spoke he who does not have sin should cast the first stone and then the bible says his speech affected the oldest first you see you see how powerful wisdom is because the youngest can drop it and the oldest will say are you, are you stupid pick that stone then he started with the oldest if the oldest has dropped the stone what do you do as the youngest the miracle is not in dropping the stone is who dropped it first the oldest dropped it down to the last person woman where are your accusers go neither do i condemn you this is the spirit of wisdom it is the spirit of wisdom that suggested the strategy for the salvation of men hmm. that instead of everybody dying let's make a caricature out of satan it's called the hidden wisdom let one man come and let the whole world enter in him then let him die so that one man came and satan kept looking for him at a point the holy ghost restrained his hand 
and satan began to prevail and satan manipulated men to kill jesus and he ran to hell he said demons did you watch what happened i can't believe it i killed jesus and to his shock he saw jesus in hell and he said no this is a joke you can't be in hell say yes i'm here because when you kill sinners they go to hell and so i died sin and here i am in hell give me the keys <sighs> give me the keys give me the keys give me the keys and when the keys were given to him he dislodged principalities and powers made a public show of them and then he not only resurrected he resurrected with many who had died they were in the streets of jerusalem everybody saw him and he said guys this is it you will um you will go to heaven but i have to be the firstborn among the resurrected so let me go to heaven quickly i'll come back and then you guys will go and he went to heaven poured his blood according to hebrews in the tabernacle became the high priest and then he returned the guys went and he went to the disciples all hail i'm back all power in heaven he disarmed satan not through power through wisdom are we together listen let me teach you something i walk in the anointing many results are not dependent on power force wisdom is really what brings dominion because the realm of the spirit is a legal realm you engage through knowledge not just by trying to force things it's the ministry of the angels to do that they are the enforcers of the word of god they confirm the word of the servant but wisdom is solution that's why sometimes you see me ministering to people and you see me doing stupid things i can hold somebody's hand and the holy spirit can say let that person shout jesus and the person just shout jesus and then the person is falling and you are watching me too i'm watching i'm as shocked as you we are all watching the wisdom of the spirit you will now get the formula and run to one small meeting and hold somebody's hand and tell the person to shout jesus and the person shouts and looks at you say i've done it say do it again because it was just copying this is one of the big mistake of we young ministers we copy acts without the spirit that brought them are we together yes meditation this is where many of us have missed it that you sit before the lord what's that song brooding over every darkness you are called listen light to shine from dark how can light come out of darkness that's what the bible said he said god who has commanded light to come out of darkness that means the answer is right there with you in your chaos the light the raw material sit down in that situation and meditate and let creation begin to happen when you plant corn the ugliness of the soil and it is still where the new shoot comes out of it's a principle he's brooding over every darkness you are causing light to shine in darkness you are brooding, brooding over all my darkness. You are causing light to shine from dark. So in the midst of that financial hardship, sit down there. That's when creation happens. You're not going to run away from the challenge and get a solution somewhere. Sit in it. By the rivers of babylon in the midst of the captivity i sat down there and a vision was open to me we run away from challenges the miracle is right there sit down there's got to be a way lord my wife no i prayed on there's got to be a way and all of a sudden you allow him to impregnate your mind ha brothers and sisters i can tell you this your life will be a wonder first to you if you practice this it will be as if you are holding a charm or a genie somewhere that you are winding many of us don't sit down 
jobless people don't sit down to allow creation happen they just loiter around sir can you give me a job and god is saying i want to speak to you no god i'm, I'm i mean I'm, I'm i want to marry they said I, I can't marry because i don't have a job me i want to and god says, sit down now if we can take half the time we spend loitering around to sit down not worrying just find the back of one tree in the night and sit down when other people are snoring their destinies you sit quietly there's got to be a way to my life lord everything is not working nine prayer requests since last year nine of them not answered you are not a liar jesus speak to me and you are just playing you know i told i get who did i give an assignment was it us or oh, school of ministry students no sometimes i don't know the difference but do it still do it go and play worship you don't just sit down and beds are just making noise worship doesn't distract you it steals your spirit and then you sit down sometimes for hours the flesh will never allow you sit down this flesh you see once you sit down you just start thinking ah oh, but that lady is really beautiful you see don't stop still sit down there Guy, but my father do you know to be honest do you know that i didn't have a good upbringing don't worry this is the flesh trying to distract something a time will come your flesh will be frustrated it will give up it's one of the benefits of fasting the flesh is empowered by the health of your body it takes advantage of food so when when food is minimal it it alters the interruption of the flesh yes sir it does ultimately leading to boosting your faith but that's how it works and you sit down lord there has to be a way and the lord sits down and says but you know you have hundred thousand and then a scripture just opens up and now this is god the spirit of wisdom coming to you now and looks at it and says except a corn falls in the ground and the lord can speak to you and say that hundred thousand that is your last money i'm not saying do it go and sow it you are not doing donation just thinking about it and you carry yourself as if you are going to go and die and sow it somewhere the moment you do that the same spirit that spoke to you now goes to your uncle who doesn't like you and say remember i've been telling you you will bless somebody it's time now it's janet it's this person and then your uncle calls you wisdom justified by her children and you are surprised and god says keep trusting me like this for your life and then you sit down and you find out let me tell you how god forces the spirit of wisdom to work in you sometimes he will close the door of any physical helper in your life pain is a very good way of activating wisdom some of us until you go through certain levels of pain wisdom will never work in your life it's not all pain that is demonic hear what i'm telling you you always receive hundred hundred thousand from your father so every time they are saying the wisdom of god you say yes but what you are mean is the money is coming and then your father says well um i had a dream and i didn't see myself giving you money for five months so what are you saying say exactly that i'm um, a voice spoke to me and that's the voice that has been speaking to me that i got rich that you are benefiting from the same voice said i should leave you alone you may insult and get angry but after two weeks you sit down and in your anger you frown you frown you frown and then you just open a scripture anyhow lord help me and then you just see takes you to the story of the widow in zarephath what did she do you have been reading it because your stomach is full now you read it with your stomach empty then shall thy light break forth and you see something you never saw ah god commanded a woman but she was not aware she was commanded but the bible says god already commanded her could it, could it be that there was something she was not receiving because God told Elijah I've commanded her whether she, the, the message arrived to her or not is another thing but me I've commanded her but when Elijah arrived it didn't look like she was aware I expect her to say oh you are the one you're welcome come in I mean the loaf is there the man said I'm about to die she would have died not hearing the command or seeing the prophet the same way God will say I've answered this person 
and you look at the person's life and the answer is not yet there I meditate a lot creation happens in my life through meditation I have explored the power of imagination this is not some zodiac Scientology metaphysical thing this is a principle listen to the advice that God gave Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 let's attempt to round up he said this book of the law please give it to us shall not depart from out of your mouth but thou shall meditate I thought I was do you know I literally was seeing it <laughs> truly speaking <laughs> you guys are delaying okay this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth listen but thou shall meditate therein meditate therein not meditate any other place you don't meditate on what you want you meditate on the word of God not just look at a newspaper and say hi again Boko Haram and you are looking and you are thinking about a solution for your church it won't come that way are we together thou shalt meditate there in day and night when you meditate and information will come from it then you observe to do and then your way becomes prosperous you don't act first you sit down and allow the creative force of God's wisdom come to your life Lord my wedding is five months all we have is hundred thousand the budget is 2.5 there's got to be a way out not hi God you sent me mm, Jesus talk to me my spirit is open I silence every voice of fear silence them first I silence every wicked voice that wants to make God look unfaithful in my life Lord you are faithful and you are sitting down and the spirit of wisdom begins to move the spirit of wisdom can tell you to do anything he can just say call one person and you call the person and he says, I'm going to do a transfer. You will think it's 100,000. You will see 3 million. And God says, now it has come. Go and marry your wife. And other people will see you and say, you that I know. Abba, my brother. And you, you will quietly go back and give God glory. Ah, God, wisdom has covered for me. That's why you see some people whose testimony should be like your own. Based on the physical parameters you see, but their testimonies are a thousand times greater than yours. Wisdom build them out. Someone needs to receive this wisdom tonight. Because the depending on men forever, let God send them. Remember I told you all blessings come from God through men to you. But when you begin to depend on men, depending on men is addictive. Is addictive those men can even be your father and your mother many of us who have all this right conscious mentality my father you are the one that gave birth to me you are 40 years you are still saying it and God may not cause what is happening in your family but you will see it as a ready tool and push you out and then you sit down and then you worry and call it meditation and God says no worrying I've stopped you from doing that but you sit down and you meditate let me admit to you that you will not meditate one night and get the solution no I wish it were so sometimes it can happen but that's just God's mercy helping you to encourage you so that the day that it doesn't come with the speed you want you will know God has been faithful and you will stay there are people who stay for weeks weeks turn to months every multi-millionaire knows this thing I'm telling you that their result is not just based on what they do but based on the reality that has been altered in their minds and their perceptions it is true way before god blessed this ministry with these crowds i had captured it it's there do you believe what i've taught you tonight my my prayer for you is not just that you finish a service today and say wow nice <clears throat> but that you go and sit down and say lord I know I'm a prayer warrior, but there is no time in silence to sit quietly, wake up in the night and think, Lord, what is the next key? What is the next step? There are bills before me. What is the next step? 
this is the dimension we must step into as a ministry there has to be a way out don't say there is no way don't join satan saying there is no way is calling god a liar you open scripture no there is a way ah. light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light my light have taught you is the secret for the hand of God upon your life financially you will sit down and do business after business and business after business and be shocked that the result will be the same because out of the abundance of the heart what have you incubated in your spirit and your mind it's not about doing things you tell people these things they never listen because most people think men of God know nothing about finances and people run around looking for all kinds of give me money let me do this and God says one thing is needful settle down first apostle what do you think I can do to prosper sit down no I, my, blood, my blood is hot calm down and one the breath of the spirit will just light that bulb and you stand up circumspectly and with little effort the lord will create a wonder out of your life hear what i'm saying write the challenges let me give you an assignment go and write out all the challenges that you are trusting god for and sit with a clean sheet of paper and your bible and worship and just keep looking at them let me teach you this in conclusion can i can i am i free to teach you look at me <laughs> pray in tongues for one minute pray in tongues for one minute labaka so de bila hasiana katabushi light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord hallelujah hallelujah let me teach you something jesus was teaching and he said the eye is the light of the body listen carefully please please listen the eye is the light of the body do you know what jesus was saying i hope you know jesus was not teaching a parable go and google the parables of jesus you don't see that story as a parable he was giving something he was teaching a powerful principle that the eye these two objects you see in front of your face that there is a mystery seeing is only one of the functions and it's simply because that's all science told you there is a system of transporting realities to and from the realm of the spirit that only your eyes that's why god healed every blind person he saw there was no blind person that passed Jesus that was not healed. There were other cripples that he left them, but he was violent on blindness. There is a relationship between your eyes and your destiny. Listen, Paul became blinded by the glory of God, but God had to open his spiritual eyes to be seen first before the physical one opened. Do you know why your eye closes in the night when you sleep? light me lord light my life light my destiny brothers and sisters there are secrets in this book when you find it your results are not just an issue of wish these eyes you see let me tell you what happens anything the eye makes contact with consistently the mind 
the mind listen to me carefully what your eyes makes contact with it forces your mind to begin to think on that reality now watch this it is not the thinking about it it is an incubation that starts happening in the realm of the spirit now the holy ghost knows the solution are we together now you meditate not just by closing your eyes alone because sometimes you close the physical eyes but you are still seeing are we together now and so that's the reason why you pray well in the night because there are few distractions your eye is seeing but you just see black and white this color sometimes can create noise it is an enemy to meditation are we together go and close a room and sit quietly and play worship and see what happens to you where you are not seeing the speaker nepa took light and you are using your phone to worship and you pray they don't bring light because it's doing something to you this eye is a transmitter the same way you have a radio wave watch this not just your ears this eye the creation of a radio wave is in the similitude of the way God designed men to work. That you lift an antenna and it starts receiving the before you. The goal is to get that sound to your radio. Is that true? But you lift up something. That something is your eyes. That when you begin to make contact with the word of God. I don't mean reading it. Just looking open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things what did david know so you are making contact and all of a sudden let me tell you what will happen very soon your eyes will stop seeing you are looking but you are no longer seeing your mind is what takes over have you seen that happen that you are reading something and for hours you keep reading the same line you can't move forward that's because something more superior than your reading is distracting you in that case worrying the eyes then your ears these things are gates i'm showing you notice that you have a selection of songs in your phone or whatever you never sit down particularly to hear them but after hearing them five or six times you know the next song and you can sing along if they ask you to sing it on your own now you can't sing but once they play it you can follow it and sing these are systems the eyes is a very deep and dangerous mystery yes he told the man at get beautiful look at us use your eyes i'm about to talk to you i thought you said give me your ears he said look at us steadfastly and he looked at them and he said now you are seeing what was the requirement of elijah receiving from elijah not if you can hear me if you can was he not looking at him this is your bible i'm not reading an occult book this is your bible when jesus was le was levitating to heaven the bible says they kept looking at him their eyes stayed on him until the clouds received him and something happened to them could it be that the only thing you have been doing with your eyes is to just look around no that's why you don't remember the faces of blind people because you cannot see their eyes the 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 part that makes your face recognizable is your eyes Let's pray. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light my life. Is the principal thing he says the 
therefore get wisdom the bible says doth not wisdom cry it personifies wisdom that wisdom is calling on people and say please don't attempt to live without me when the lord was creating the heavens and the earth the spirit of wisdom was there your life cannot be created without it the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom is what is responsible for delivering the secrets of the kingdom without wisdom revelation is not even possible the spirit of wisdom will grant you access to scriptural solutions brothers and sisters you will watch mountains before you crash and people look at you and say what wisdom is this there is a relationship between mighty works and wisdom every time you see mighty works strange results at the back of it is a scriptural solution is a mystery that was unveiled when the spirit of wisdom comes upon you then all other manifestations of the spirit can be made possible without it you are just joking around i saw this in my life i craved for the spirit of wisdom i pursued it with my life and my all the day the spirit of wisdom came upon me i knew I have been studying the Bible but brothers and sisters when the spirit of wisdom comes your results change immediately in a strange way the speakings of the spirit we need this for our families could this be why your ministry has been grounded could this be why our families never rise to certain extent we think the thing is just about more money or more this or more that no please help them we are going to spend two or three minutes crying out in the spirit and say, Lord, a baptism. I'm tired of no results in my life. I'm tired of foolish decisions in my life. Pray. Pray and let the spirit of wisdom come upon you. Never stranded of solutions. Never stranded of solutions. There is always something to do. There is some, always a way of moving forward. Pray. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. Spread everything that has bread, everything that has bread, hallelujah. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle, light me, Lord, light my life, hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I receive a baptism of the spirit of wisdom. I receive the grace to manifest supernatural solutions over every challenge of my life. Lift your voice and pray. There is an answer. There has to be an answer. There is an answer. There is an answer. Hey, bakata, kata, balakata. I can't be stranded forever. There is an answer. Seke toko shoto barakata. Hidden in the spirit of wisdom is an answer. A strange answer. Pray. Lord, there is an answer my financial predicament there is an answer to the challenge in my life that you have not seen it and you have not received it does not mean it is not there there has to be an answer to the challenges in my family hallelujah say in the name of Jesus I receive 
a strategy say it in the name of Jesus I receive the strategy out of confusion out of pain out of tragedy lift your voice and begin to pray there has to be a strategy he made his ways known to Moses by the spirit of wisdom there has to be a way I cannot beg forever there is a way to the anointing there is a way to my ministry rising there is a way there is a way there has to be a way I receive I receive divine strategies illumination You move mountains, you cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles, there is nothing that's impossible. And I'm standing here only because you move mountains. Listen, let me give us one more prayer. By the grace of God, we are a people of prayer. Most of the churches and the body of believers within this region are a people who have received the spirit of prayer and supplication. But we lack the grace for creativity. We lack the grace for imagination. The breath of the spirit upon your mind I like you to pray and say Lord grant me the grace to meditate the grace to bet solutions from the realm of the spirit the grace to use my mind to allow the Holy Ghost spirit upon my mind are you praying God gave you a mind to bring victory to your life he gave you a mind not just to watch things happen Believe me, the solution is locked up within you. Allow the Holy Spirit to begin his work of creation. The answer will come. Pray. Baptize my mind. Baptize my mind. There is an answer locked up by the Holy Ghost. My mind can produce supernatural solutions. Hallelujah. Listen. The worst the worst condition of a man is madness. In my opinion, the worst condition of a man is madness where the devil has hijacked your capacity to create. This is how companies come into being. This is how churches increase and expand. This is how business corporations rise. This is how individuals rise. They can stay with the Holy Ghost and say there's got to be a way. And they stay there and stay there until something comes from heaven. And they run with it and the vision speaks in the end. And their lives look miraculous. There is no mystery behind it. It's the sacrifice of meditation. Every religion, every sect, agrees on this one thing that meditation brings creation hallelujah lord may my mind be a channel 
for strategies to come from heaven lift your voice and pray may my mind be a channel you didn't give me a mind just to gossip and loiter around stop all this moving up and down and sit down sit down with the Holy Ghost sit down let him breathe upon your eyes let him breathe upon your ears let him breathe upon your mind and my brother my sister your life will change in a way that will surprise you is a guarantee that I give you the hidden wisdom that the princes did not know hallelujah Jesus said when he comes receive the Holy Ghost receive the Holy Ghost receive the Holy Ghost receive the Holy Ghost the same way you receive a visitor question how do you receive a visitor in your house when a visitor comes you put a chair you say you are welcome let me bring food for you what do you want that's how to receive you don't stand at the door and say mr man what did you come to look for that's how many of us are receiving the holy ghost you are praying in tongues but you truly have not received his ministry tonight will you receive that ministry will you receive the same way you receive a visitor the bible says be careful entertain men well for in need some of you have entertained strangers that's why you see us honor his presence so much because jesus left him without the holy spirit while i was praying i said holy spirit we're in partnership with you i will do the talking i will do all the things my own part of the deal i will do it well and i know for sure that's what gives us confidence to announce that people will be healed that's what gives us confidence there is an audacity there is always a side to your life you cannot explain that's the side where the holy ghost steps in if you can explain everything about your life you are walking alone there should be a supernatural dimension i've explained to you the part of the meeting that can be explained the other part now the holy ghost does not just talk he explains it with the results oh that's why i love him doesn't have room for long stories tonight god is giving someone another opportunity to raise a cry of dissatisfaction and say lord i'm tired the worship team sang it beautifully they said i'm tired of the status quo tonight there are many of us here who may be wondering but well, what is wrong with my life i've not done anything wrong what you need is an appointment by prophecy the bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of gladness for the spirit of heaviness it says that they may be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified we're going to pray the lord assured me of his presence in a mighty way to heal especially for the sick you must get angry this night and say lord i'm not going back with that situation see don't get too used to it the same way you receive the holy spirit reject certain things hallelujah let me show you one scripture back to our text john 9 let me tell you what can happen to you when you don't open up your heart to receive john chapter 9 while i was reading today i had to stop and say goodness so this thing did not start now two things can happen to you if you do not position yourself to receive number one 9 verse 16 listen to what happened we have been accusing very innocent people around our society because we are not open to receive john 9 verse 16 are you ready read therefore said some of the pharisees okay this man is this is jesus they are talking about are you getting my point now they saw somebody receiving a fantastic miracle they saw this man getting blessed and now they were frustrated 
because this thing was not just working what kind of power is it there are probably some of you here who have heard of the things that god is doing and probably you just came to watch and see let me verify for myself look at it it didn't just start today satan always wants to discredit people who are doing the things that god has asked them to do he said this man is not of god because he keepeth not the sabbath day what kind of silly excuse is that look at the excuse they were bringing those people lose their cattle they lose their cattle be careful lest you allow the devil cheat you by putting a very doubtful heart and you keep looking and say are miracles really real do people really get healed is it true it's a big shame that when people are healed we associate it most of the time to witchcraft power so we agree that witches and wizards can heal and then we are saying the lord of glory cannot heal Verse 18. Oh, oh, oh. But the Jews did not do what? The Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind. That's another thing. So you either say the man of God is not a genuine man of God or the miracle that happened is not genuine. That's what they said. They said we don't believe that the man has been born blind and receive his sight until they call his parents so you can watch people ss genotype in your presence chain and he said there's no way i'm studying medicine or i'm a doctor this thing cannot happen or you watch somebody holding a crutch get healed or somebody blind or deaf or someone oppressed liberated and you say just like that just like that what are you doing are you seeing two things can happen when your heart is not open to receive you can sit down and keep doubting this man of god is he using something if it's easy to get the something get it how many of you remember one gentleman called sadiq ibrahim i never knew it was so difficult to get power from the kingdom of darkness until that guy came he came to give some of you were around that miracle service this guy was a terrorist he was a terrorist he was part of the people that trained those who fought for post-election violence and he came was dying of hiv right dying of tuberculosis he had slept in the grave three days he said he could enter a church and look at a man of god and blow this whatever magic portion and the man of god would just get confused on the stage so he came for koinonia just like this and he was sitting outside hallelujah as soon as i came up on stage when he saw people falling he said there's power in this place whether there's witchcraft power or god's power there is power in this place because he knows what it means the kind he went to sleep in the grave for three days murdered little children and used their blood for sacrifice so that guns will not enter his body just for that little thing see the sacrifice you think it's easy to get power from satan get it hallelujah that guy was there he's on video as soon as i stepped on stage he said as soon as i came on stage all he saw was light and fire and that was the end of it he didn't even know when he collapsed then i called him by word of knowledge and i said he should come he's on video go and watch it right there he was healed of hiv he was healed of tuberculosis the results were there i mean some of you we then we used to meet also there he testified he gave his testimony he was verified it shocked him that was when he made up his mind they were still looking for him to kill him brothers and sisters the power of god exists miracles still happen i know that many of you believe but you have not received that reality that your situation can change tonight i believe god for somebody let's trust god together let's trust god together let's trust god together and say lord it can change it can change that genotype can change they refuse to allow you marry 
because you are ss that genotype can change that genotype can change you must not understand how everything can happen the bible says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child not the way of the wind that's how you do not know the work of god there are certain dimensions that are inexplainable hallelujah selena is here where is selena wave your hand i think it was her auntie that that one time we prayed for she had triplets right or something the children are still alive triplets one two three three children i just felt a need to clear this air because some of you come with all kinds of cynical spirits and you have problems that are killing you but rather than opening your heart you are there just wondering is god really the one doing this can somebody just fall down like that without being touched is it really true is it real it's not your fault it's the way some of us were raised you don't have to be angry listen listen when you ever hear a man criticizing a man of god don't blame the person never insult the person they are only talking that while we were insulting jesus christ on the cross what did he do he said father forgive them forgive them never find yourself trying to defend yourself no no it's not part of your ministry the psalmist said in psalm 3 thou O lord art a shield for me he says you are my glory and the lifter up of my head i always tell people gamaliel spoke beautifully he said if it is of god no man can stop it if it is not of god it will fail there's no one beside you I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. I lead the earth to worship you. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, change our situation tonight. There are many of us as you're sitting looking at me right now. The problem that you have is only God that can help you because the load is too much. Are you getting me? There are some of you, it's like I see you in the hospital. Your situation right now is a matter of life and death. Your own is just it's not just admission maybe there is a terminal disease i remember a particular lady i was talking to i think she might be somewhere here a herbal is predicted her death today today this 25th the herbal is predicted that is today that she will die so when i got to hear about it i said interesting come and die here hallelujah just come and die here <laughs> there is a rod of a higher priesthood there is a rod of a higher priesthood is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am that's what god is asking somebody tonight is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am Prophesy. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Rise up.
rise up on your feet and begin to prophesy. I believe you. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Everywhere, inside and outside, connect. This is the moment of faith. I'm about to step back and let this most Holy Spirit step into your life. Is there anything? Too hard for me to do. I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Come on, celebrate the God of for him to do I am that I am is there anything too hard for him to do I am that I am lift your hands everybody and let us worship him Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called. Voices. Emmanuel. Come on, call his name. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is called. Listen. The Bible says, listen. It says, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things. What is not possible with God? Involve God. And it becomes possible that sickness will never go but with God that sickness suddenly leaves that situation will never change but with God that's why we're singing that song Emmanuel Emmanuel Hiya. Emmanuel 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 His name is called 
Your name is called Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Before I minister, I begin ministering. Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside. Two people. The power of God is coming mightily right now as I speak upon them. Please let me have them inside. Two people mightily. It's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place. Two people very mightily by the power of the Holy Ghost. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called Hallelujah. Those of you in this row, just lift your hands. I don't know what it is that I see the angels of the Lord doing here. I see the angels of the Lord moving. At the count of three, there will be such a move of the Spirit in this row. Let me have the people outside. Thank you, Jesus. One, two, three. Let the power of God move right now. Right now. Is the fire of the Holy Ghost. Emmanuel. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called. Bring her. No devil will stop her. Your name is called.
Emmanuel His name is called Emmanuel Your name is called Emmanuel His name is called His name is God, Emmanuel, He is God, Emmanuel, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the presence of God, no demon, no devil, no altar. I don't care what altar of darkness. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. My secret place is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. Take my praise. hallelujah please lift your hands i see the angels of the lord moving now lift your hands we're about to cause devils and wicked spirits please follow me instrumentalist we are going to cause every power the bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father that tree must give way and I come under an apostolic anointing in the name of the one whose I am and whom I serve that at the count of three any power that is not of God inside and outside at the count of three we challenge those devils by the fire of the Holy Ghost as you shout three the power of God will rush inside and outside and there will be massive deliverances right now are you ready now? one Two, three, shout Jesus. Shake up a pack of pressure. I cause powers. Every wicked power, every demon, every activity of darkness. I cause you now. 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 Every act of witchcraft. Shake it. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, you come under the judgment of God inside and outside. Right now, let the power of God bring deliverance. For upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, there shall be holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Hallelujah those outside just those outside goodness i see a number of angels you're going to shout jesus after the count of three outside means everywhere that is not in and there will be massive deliverance thank you jesus are you ready now those outside i see the power of god like files of fire one two at the count of three Shout Jesus three. We dethrone altars, we dethrone yokes of darkness. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Those outside be sensitive. There is so much power. I don't know what it is, but the, the power of God is so strong outside. In the name of our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Name of our God. Bring the lady. Most high. Most high. You're the Lord. Most high. Leave this girl in peace now. Go now. Let her go. Don't waste our time. Let her go now. Bring this lady, please. I set you free. Now. Out of her now, that devil of darkness. Blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Hallelujah. Please help her, ladies. It's not easy, I know. Just find it's time for her deliverance. Her, she will come now quickly I call you Lord most high. don't touch her she will come by herself Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. Thank you Jesus. I bring you liberty. Be free now. In Jesus name. She's free. name of Jesus it's over let her go now the blood of Jesus the name of Jesus Christ thank you you died for her let her go I come with the rod of a higher priest who let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you father I give you all the praise she's delivered completely in the name of Jesus Christ thank you I anoint you guys. Let the anointing of the Spirit flow through you as you minister in the name of Jesus. She will go. Come, lay hands on this lady. Out of her now, thou devil of darkness. I cost you. I see you in the Spirit. Out! Out! Let her go free.
her time of deliverance is now i speak to you wicked spirit let her go now jesus died listen let me tell you there is no power listen there is no power that will resist the power of god tonight the bible says let every soul be subject to the higher powers have you read that in your bible let every soul be subject when it sees powers that are higher than it it should be subject let every soul hallelujah esther 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 there is an esther that is not feeling fine you're sick not just i know there are many esters the lord is ministering to me i don't know what is wrong with that esther but you need a miracle a healing miracle esther please let's save time there is a lot we have to do tonight esther who is deborah 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 you are outside that deborah is wearing red you are wearing red red with black spots it's a shirt red with black spots deborah come your name is deborah i'm hearing the name queen queen is i think that's supposed to be a name queen who is queen 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 you are esther come come on while you hold them look guys speak to them and let them you will waste your time with demon spirits have a way of wasting people's time don't you will save yourself a lot of energy it makes no difference who is speaking queen who is queen? you are queen i need to pray for you you have a blood condition victoria 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 i'm hearing the name gabriel gabriel who is gabriel gabriel please just save time when i mention your case gabriel gabriel is outside outside the lord is ministering to me outside gabriel you are is it outside yes Gabriel is outside. You are Gabriel. You are outside. Hallelujah. Come, my dear. What is wrong with you? I need to pray for you. Because... The Lord is ministering to me. I saw this lady and I saw something that looks like a lizard and is sucking her blood physically. Look, come, come up. Look at this girl. Look at her. You will know that this girl doesn't look healthy. You don't even know what. And the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw something like a lizard just leads to her heart region and is just sucking her blood. This is how somebody just gets up and just dies. What happens to you? Your chest region. That devil is a liar. You'll be free. Hallelujah. There's no time to minister to your individual needs. Are you following me now? If God gives me a word for you, I'll just pray. Otherwise, ah, come, 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 come. You must be set free. Now hold my hands. Out! Come out of her now! Out! Now! Blessed is he who comes i set you free from this captivity be free now praise the lord i'm going to pray for you who is having serious abdominal pain you're having pain just 
your stomach region here very seriously one of you here because i'm feeling that same pain so i know you we pray for you but but that's that's not really the major thing wrong with you what's wrong with you you'll be healed now thank you jesus i bring you the power that is in the name of jesus lay your hands on your stomach be healed right now in the name of jesus christ father i pray for all of these people as i lay hands on you it doesn't matter what the situation is in the name of jesus christ i set you free in the name of jesus christ walk into the blessings and the promises of god in the name of the lord jesus christ be set free right now by the power of the holy spirit be set free in the name of the lord jesus um the lord is showing me about three people there's a severe skin infection that is you have done all you it's a very serious thing in fact it's even embarrassing it's even embarrassing there are three people this is one there's there's, there's two more please quickly it's a serious thing you have you have prayed about it you have used drugs nothing has gone please I'm seeing three people it's time for God to set you free don't worry if there are still more people you can connect I'm just telling you the one that God is showing me. I don't care what it is we sang that God will set you free please don't come out here to try God it will leave I don't care what it is hallelujah thank you Jesus please those with peptic ulcers just get ready all kinds of ulcers we're going to pray for you now please make sure it's, it's only skin infection only skin infection hold my hands madam I set you free in the name of Jesus be free now be free now in the name of Jesus be free now in the name of Jesus as I pray for you just go back to your seat oh, the power of God is strong on my hands be free now in the name of Jesus I cause that spirit be free now in the name of Jesus let him go I set you free be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I cause skin infection in the name that is above all names hold my hands look at me look at me I'm seeing you tied not only are you I pray that God will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ Lord let her go free in the name of Jesus let her go free right now in the name of Jesus you're suffering from any kind of ulcer any kind of ulcer we're just flowing as the Holy Ghost is, is ministering right now there is a lot to be done so please ulcers ulcers God is ministering to me visit your people oh god these are the ones that you died for look how many people are inflicted by ulcers i'll pray for you very quickly please i want you to believe as i lay my hands on on you the power of God will come upon you and you'll be free. Just begin to breathe in. Some of you will feel because the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing it. You will feel something leave you. Just come out of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free now. Out! Come out of her! Now! In the name of Jesus. Out! Out of her! Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free right now. Out! Out! Please, as I pray for you, check yourself. He's able. Out! Come out! I will pray for you and I will talk to you. God. 
name of Jesus Christ I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free be free now in the name of Jesus Christ be free in the name of Jesus Christ he's able bring the lady shout in there Hey, hey, hey. Say he's able. Let her go in the name of Jesus. I set you free by the power of the highest. Say God. he's able. God is able. God. And that spirit of infirmity leave her right now never to return be free now in Jesus name complete freedom showing me someone you came here I'm seeing someone in your family lying down on the bed it's like a terminal disease that's one of the major reasons why you came here the Lord is showing me is a woman I think your mother someone's mother lying down on the bed who is that person I'm seeing someone on the bed and it's a very serious situation please who is that let's save time we have to really really be fast there's a lot to do who is that person please if you are the one just find your way quickly so I can pray with you Who went to Shika and came back? Shika and came back. Because this person I'm seeing, they took the person to Shika and brought the person back. You? My mother has one being in Shika. She went to Shika. What are you people coming out for? Why is the man insisting that is the one? What is it? You came from Shika. You are coming from Shika. What's wrong with you? This one is a woman who is not you, but anyway, what's this situation? But it's a, no, no, no. What, what, just straight to the point, what happened? My body is very hot and the, the head is turning me like move, I want to fall. This is the spirit of death now. You would have died before today. Hold my hands. I want to pray with you. You'll be free now. Thank you, Jesus. I set you free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What couldn't you do before? Ogasa, what couldn't you do before? What couldn't you do before? What what is it that you could not do before? Okay, come, climb. Let's see if you feel weak again. I pray for you. Just, just walk. Let me see. Try to jump. Any weakness? Don't worry now. If you want to jump, you'll fall. Shabia, I've prayed for you. Fall and die here. Jump. 
Any weakness? Any weakness in your body? Try it again. Try it again. Look at this is somebody that came. He said he went to Shika. Huh? Are you sure? Don't pretend though. Are you feeling fine? You are completely fine. You are here because I saw the spirit of death. Your own is not just sickness. Lord, it is perfected in the name of Jesus. Please take on your shoes. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody with a condition. Is this my left or right leg? This is left. My left leg, I don't know if it's a, if it's a bone condition or a pain that you have in there. Please, who is that person? The Lord wants to heal you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. You're the one? Oh, you can see it. You can even see it. What's the problem? I actually played football. Right? You're a footballer? Yes. I had a fracture for eight months. You have a fracture. Now, on the leg, there is a fracture. Is it true? Please make sure you tell us the truth when you come here. Look at me. Watch yourself get healed now. Come. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Aye. The Holy Spirit. Young Gicho wrote a book. He said, The Holy Spirit, my senior partner. Watch what happens to this guy now. My brother, look at me. You are an adult, so you will not tell lies. Right? Watch. I don't want you to miss your miracle. Where is the fracture? Exactly. All right. Watch what happens to you now. Lay your own hands there. The hands you'll be using every day. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. You sense what is happening to you right now. Are you seeing this? Look at what is happening to him. You see the power of God? You see the power of God on him? He's laying hands on himself oh, and he cannot even stand again. That's the end of it. Stand up. Stand up. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. Test yourself. Look at this. Look at. See the guy is even rejoicing. <laughs> this is somebody with a fracture. Fracture on his leg. Come on, give Jesus praise for on here. See. Let's go. There's no pain. Try doing like this. Do like this. That's how you know whether there was pain or not. Look at, look at, look at what you do. Come on, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. God bless you. Never return. Your leg. Come, 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 come. Don't worry. What's the situation? Yeah, pain. Pain there. Let me see. Just, just the. No, no, no. You don't need to lift your. Just that point. The joints there. How long? Since two weeks now. Two weeks. What happened? Just like that, you woke up. And the pain refused to go. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Which one do you want? You want to lay hands on yourself or I should just pray? <laughs> huh? All right, but seriously, let's pray. Hold my hands. Heal her, Lord. Set her free right now. The power of God is coming upon you, that leg. In the name of Jesus Christ. No pain. See, that's the power of God coming upon your leg. Check yourself check honestly check yourself look at the power of god is moving strongly check check do you feel any pain you feel any no pain is she's even surprised no pain is give jesus praise that devil has gone never to return again in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah goodness the lord just showed me a mighty miracle that has happened now someone you have a hole you used to have a hole in your teeth check it now you will not see that hole there please check it and come out this is a miracle that has just happened now please i'm going to start praying in mass for people but you will be very surprised when when that happens to you just come out quickly the lord should once god shows me something he has done it please check yourself check yourself we're not faking this thing here make sure you check yourself you will be very surprised to find out that there used to be a hole and that hole is closed hallelujah let me pray for you your mother your mother let me pray for you father in the name of jesus let there be healing for your mother wherever she is let there be healing for your mother in the name of jesus why did you come out for your mother hold my hands father for mommy we pray let there be healing and perfection in the name of the lord jesus christ Please make sure you only come out for the cases I call. Why is he out? 
Eh? Okay, let me pray for you. Father, for the mother, we agree right now. Let there be freedom in the name of Jesus. Look at this. Look at the miracle. Your teeth is closed now. Come, come. Please, we need a witness. We need a witness. Is it true? Don't tell lies here. You are in the presence of God. Where is it? Sorry, can you open your mouth for me to see? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope that's not. Let me see. You used to have a hole. Please come whether come and check. No. Let's have any independent person so that you don't say we are acting this thing now. Come. Come and check. Check if there is any hole. Are you are you seeing that? There's no. It was really paining me when I it was paining you when you came here. The hole has been there. Who knows about it? Only your sister knows about it. And, it's, and you've been healed. Any pain now? Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please stand up, everybody. I want to pray for eye conditions now. Let's just flow the way God is. is, is nice. Please, if you have any problem with your eye, just lay your hands. There will be healing miracles right now. There will be healing miracles right now with the eyes immediately i pray for you some of you the power of god will touch your eyes just check yourself and when you find out that there is a miracle i want to take a few testimonies there please lift your lift one hand and place one hand on your eyes jesus will give you the praise hallelujah right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every kind of eye problem in the name of jesus i cause cataract in the name of Jesus, glaucoma, I curse you now in the name of Jesus. Short-sightedness, long-sightedness, be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command to be healed. And every spirit of blindness, every spirit of infirmity, every kind of blindness, whether in one eye, whether in both eyes, I rebuke you right now. I command be healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus. Now check yourself. Please check yourself. Check yourself. God is doing great miracles. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Hallelujah. While they are doing that, the Lord is showing me people with heart conditions. Heart conditions. You have a heart condition, whether a hole in your heart or any kind of heart condition. Please, can I have those people? Heart condition. You've been diagnosed medically to have a heart condition. You have a heart problem. Who? And is preparing to go to India for three. Is preparing to go to India for surgery. What of you? Yes, sir. What of you? You. You have a heart problem since when did you know about it february the doctors told you what did they say is wrong palpitation palpitation oh. doctor doctor where's that doctor in ushers you are the one self oh yeah Ogasa, what does that mean doctor tell us huh say she has palpitations abnormal beating of the heart ah okay loud and you can hear it even when she is so it's, a, you stethoscope, you can hear it. so it's a serious situation she'll be healed now you're a doctor now wait you'll go to hospital tomorrow but for now my dear do you believe jesus will heal you completely lay one hand on your chest lord let her be healed right now the power of god is flowing through you just breathe in and out thank you jesus christ be healed right now by the power of the holy ghost be set free please check yourself lord have mercy on the father in the name of jesus how do you know now try it breathe in and out let's see thank you jesus christ let there be perfection in the name of jesus let there be perfection the devil wants to bring stroke as i just held you huh is that true you're already feeling half of you some okay your dad too of stroke because immediately I had I held your hand, I just saw stroke. Father, we rebuke that stroke. 
in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost be healed right now we are going to rebuke delay in marriage now rise up on your feet the devil is a liar please rise up on your feet Some of you are smiling. That means it doesn't concern you. Because those who it really concerns is a serious issue. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for you. Please follow me, guys. Hallelujah. Most marital delays are demonic in nature. And we're going to arrest it right now. You can stand in for yourself. You can stand in for your loved ones. Please lift your hands, everybody. You'll be amazed at what will happen right now. Everyone, please lift your hands. You can stand for yourself. You can connect. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. Father, I pray that as they shout that name, every, every demonic force that has held anyone's marital destiny goodness i sense the power of god in the name that is above all names father i pray that as your people shout that name i tell you many of you the power of god will rush like fire on you in the name of jesus every wicked manifestation of spirit husband or wife any spirit entity that cleaves itself to anybody as you shout that name by the power of the holy ghost their activities end now one two three i cast those spirits in the name of jesus let god's people go in the name of jesus out of them now by the power of the Holy Ghost, inside and outside, I command those powers to let you go now. Release their marital destinies now. Release their marital destinies now. Every cause that stops marriage in families, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I arrest it. I arrest it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Was he going to shout that name over this case? The Lord is not done yet. Lift your hands again. I want you to shout it at the top of your voice. And as you shout that name, the fire of the Holy Ghost will hit you like a tornado. God is visiting situations right now. Thank you, Jesus. One. Two. Get ready now. Get ready with your hands lifted. Three. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. I command chains, chains, marital chains, be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command chains, be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Let marital doors open in the name of jesus i prophesy over your marital destiny in the name that is above all names the bible says seek out of the book and read it said none of this shall fail none shall want her mate ladies wherever your husband is in the name that is above all names i call him into your life i call him into your life listen not a man your husband not a man your husband may he come into your life in the name of jesus 
and I prophesy over our brothers in the name that is above all names that sister that God has destined for you we release her into your life now 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 hallelujah now I'm going to pray for all sick people especially those who have come from everywhere while you come out do you have your prayer request please if you don't have it it's time to begin to write it now for all those who are sick you are sick in your body you came specifically for healing it's your time now please come out please come out come out just come and stand here everyone sick everyone sick inside and outside just find your way and line up here ushers just arrange them quickly stand here believing that God will set you free he that comes unto God must come believing. I want you to expect the power of God to come mightily upon your life. Whatever the situation is, I'm going to lay hands on every one of you. And as I lay that hands upon you, hallelujah, I want you to expect the power of God to flow into your life. Whatever the situation is, hallelujah. Worship team, lead us in a powerful moment of worship. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you the praise. Thank you for healing. In the name of Jesus. Those of you who are sitting, please write your prayer requests. Once you are done, just begin to pray in tongues. And then we'll do this very quickly. My God is awesome. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heal now. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hide me from the rain. I cause everything that is not of God. My God. Out. My God is awesome. Heal now. When I'm broken. Praise the name of Jesus. My God is awesome. He can move in the name of Jesus. Strength for you. I cause sickness. I want you to believe that God is setting you free. My God. Heal. In the name of Jesus. Be healed, mommy. In the name of Jesus. Protect 
My God is thank you, Lord awesome. Jesus Christ. He can move mountains. Be healed now. He Please, while you're seated, just pray in tongues. Hide me from Jesus Christ. Be healed. My God. Jesus Christ, awesome be healed awesome. in the name of Jesus Christ. He's awesome. be now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, awesome. be healed. Perfection. My God now. is awesome. In the name of Jesus, awesome. perfection in your body right now. In the name of Hallelujah. Jesus.
those trusting God for a job, please stand up. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe. Hallelujah. I want you to believe as I pray for you. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit leads me. There are people who came here tonight and your, true, your sincere desire is that God will visit you. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Promotion neither comes from the east nor the west. In the name that is above all names. I pray. May the Lord give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus. I speak it and I prophesy it. May my God give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus. As you are lifting up that hands, let an anointing come upon that hand. Keep it lifted, please. That hand that is lifted, I pray. Let an anointing come upon it. The oil of gladness that sets you above your equals. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you have submitted your CV, I pray. May my God cause them to visit you in the name of Jesus. And every power that is stopping your job, in the name that is above all names, the four horns that lift up themselves against Judah against Jerusalem against Israel I command right now let those doors of jobs be opened supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please everybody stand submit your prayer request do we have it this is a very prophetic moment we have a few minutes but this is where everybody gets to receive please i want you to be very very sensitive if you've not submitted your prayer request please just do that quickly this this just dedicate yourself to these few moments because they are very very prophetic what we're about to do any more people please quickly we have a god that answers prayers here Hallelujah. This is the second time God is giving me this instruction. Usually we just pray on it and once we are done here. But this is the second time the Lord is telling me that I should take this request with me and I should pray over them through the night. There is a God that answers prayers. And Hezekiah took the threat letter to God before the altar. He said, Lord, behold their threatenings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to pray. Hallelujah. This request represent impossible situations for some hallelujah situations that only the power of god can change there are some situations here if we have to read it even we the men of god will be discouraged because of the kind of request that's why we don't bother reading it we just drop it to the one who created the heavens and the earth i want you to know that within these few minutes i want you to pray from the depths of your heart and those following us online now is the time for them to connect 
hallelujah because as we pray over these requests the power of god will turn these requests into testimonies in the name of the lord jesus we're going to pray pastor alpha come femi come benga come just pray lay hands on this and prophesy stretch your hands everybody towards this request and begin to pray begin to pray and prophesy hallelujah everybody stretch your hands and begin to declare and say lord whatever i wrote here is turned into a testimony Rabaka pro so so pretecate. Sidebo shopro dos copre decate. Secatata tebala da 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 da. Shopro toko to precadevala da da bos. Lord, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, change this situation. Change this situation. Secatate. Rekete pokoto prekete baladabos, pataka papa kate, e prekete lekete, sote kete pros, e prekete lekete tete, rekete rekese, e pros ko proto subah, lekete baladabaka tablekete baladabos. In the name of Jesus, we turn this to testimony. Jesus Lord under this corporate anointing we release answers to this request we release answers to this request let them receive emergency attention of heaven now in the name of Jesus we release answers now in the name of Jesus thank you because with God nothing shall be impossible and thank you for the release of the harvest of the seed in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Please everybody stand. Those who are visiting with us, all those who are who came from outside Zaria, please come out. I'll minister to you now. I want you to come out expecting the Lord. There are so many people who have come from different places. Please just come out. Sit up. I'll pray for them. And I'm going to pray for everyone for a release of fresh fire and fresh unction hallelujah it's not enough to come and watch miracles hallelujah but you are going to pray that you carry this anointing hallelujah and you represent the kingdom thank you so much for those who came lizzie and her friends thank you so much all the way from abuja thank you pastor alpha all the way from kogi state eddie from joss Launching from Abuja, I see a number of people. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to believe. I don't know what you came here for, but I really want you to believe by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you to believe. I'm going to minister to you. Two things will happen to you. Whatever situation you came here trusting God for, I'm going to release my faith with you. And secondly, that you will carry an anointing. I tell you, something will come heavy upon your life. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Just clash the cymbals. Please play strings. Strings, strings, strings. In the name of Jesus. Anoint them in the name of Jesus. Be blessed take an anointing back be blessed in the name of Jesus be healed be blessed take this anointing back take this anointing in the name of Jesus awesome is your name walk in greater levels of power greater levels of power in the name of Jesus, you do glorious things. 
your unfaithful Take an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Break through every closed door. I open it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. You do glorious things. Take this anointing with you in the name of Jesus to your locality. Do mighty things for the King. I release your marital destiny. This is what the Lord is ministering. I release your marital destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Take this anointing. Oh, in the name of Jesus I open every closed door in the name of Jesus I open every closed door let the fragrance of the spirit be upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I command breakthrough I hear my spirit breakthrough I release breakthrough breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough. 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 Financial breakthrough. God is bringing you financial breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the world grow in the name of Jesus. Let the world grow. Let the anointing come. Closed door that I see in the name of Jesus. I open this closed door that I see by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take this anointing that it makes you mighty. Everybody stand up. The time is against us. Please, everybody rise. I want to do an impartation right now and then I'll just prophesy on our lives. Please lift your hands. Something will come upon your life. Hallelujah. This is where certain people will receive something. I want to impart the gifts of the Spirit. I already sense a strong atmosphere. Jiana ma si na 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 na, Jiana na na si na 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 na. Shiva na na se pariya na man. Lift your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus. The healing anointing is going to come on many people now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The healing anointing inside and outside. Take it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
Take it now. Take it now. Go and heal the sick. Go and heal the sick. You will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. You will cast out devils. Shake it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. I pray. I command the prophetic. Let it be activated now. Prophetic fountains be open now. Visions, dreams. I command in the name of Jesus. Receive it. An unction. You don't need to bring them out. You don't need to bring them out. We activate it. Take it now. Supernatural experiences, dreams, visions. Sopotopate. I command leadership mantles. Leadership mantles. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Strong leadership mantles. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Stop I'm about to pray the nine gifts of the Spirit and many more listed in the Bible in the name of the Lord Jesus. At the count of three, different gifts will be activated in people right now. One, two. Three, receive it. Word of knowledge, word of wisdom, prophecy, tongues, interpretation of tongues. Take it now. I activate the full power of the spirit. I activate it inside and outside. Take it. Let the Holy Ghost come upon you in power. Receive it. Receive it. of healing word of knowledge gifts of prophecy it will come like fire it will come like fire it will burn you it will come like fire it's the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire of the Holy Ghost two of you hold your hand hold your hand take it now take it now I activate the gifts of the spirit every apostolic ministry in this place take the fire take the fire take the fire every apostolic ministry take the fire every prophetic ministry take the fire take the fire take the fire hallelujah there are many of you who are kingdom financiers financial apostles everyone will be blessed but there are specific people lift your hands my god i pray that these people let an unction my god my god my god my god take it financial dominion by the power help them help them help them Shetete. Take it, ideas. I activate it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Financial apostles, arise, arise. Take the kingdom. Matos 
Now I want to prophesy very quickly. Please, I want you to shout Amen. Every closed door over your life, in the name that is above all names, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Every closed door, be open now. 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 I pray right now. Every opportunity you have lost, I don't care what it is. I prophesy right now. Receive restoration. Receive restoration. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive restoration now. Receive restoration now. Hallelujah. Every family under captivity and hardship in the name that is above all names. I command those families to be free now. Be free now. Free from hardship. Free from hardship. The Bible says to appoint unto them that morning in Zion. I pray whatever made you cry this month in the name that is above all names I cause it to its root now. I cause it to its root now. I cause it to its root now. I pray everyone who has the key to the next level of your life every destiny helper i don't care where they are right now in the name of jesus like prophet ezekiel i call them he said i prophesied as i was commanded destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise arise hallelujah wherever you have faced resistance in your life may this favor anointing in the name that is above all names as i prophesy right now let that favor anointing hit you like a tornado go back to where they rejected you and watch my god make a way for you i command favor i command favor in the name of jesus whatever has been speaking against your life and your destiny let the blood speak for you now let the blood speak for you now any terminal disease here any terminal disease here we terminate it once and for all in the name of jesus every dying destiny every dying destiny like the bones in the book of ezekiel hear ye the word of the lord whatever you have that is dying whether it's your business whether it's your family whether it's your relationship whether it's your marriage i come with a prophetic voice hear ye the word of the lord come alive now Come alive now. Come alive now. Come alive now. I prophesy that by the next miracle service, you will return with a change of garment that everyone that sees you will know that my God has visited you. Every ministry, every fellowship, every group every church every assembly represented here 
I pray, let an unusual unction rest upon your ministry. Everything you see happening here, go and reproduce it in the name of Jesus. I release upon you that power in the name that is above all names. Whatever has stopped your church from growing, whatever has stopped your ministry from growing, I command ministry grow, church grow in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you the praise. I'm going to make an altar call right now. If you're here and you've never given your heart to the Lord Jesus, please listen. This is a very serious moment. We're out of time. You've never made Jesus Lord of your life. Inside and outside, you probably were invited. You may have been a Christian, but you've never truly declared the Lordship of Christ. I'm going to invite you to come here. Or you've been born again and you found yourself derailing. This is the greatest miracle. Please, everybody rise. Just one minute, just to encourage those who are coming out. Please, let's rise. Right now, you belong to that category. You are saying, Lord, I return to you. I don't care whether you've been born again before. Please, I want you to leave your seat and come out right now. Leave your seat and come out right now. You want to make a decision. You are making a decision for the Lord Jesus for the first time. Please listen. Or you've given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself backsliding. Don't wait for anybody. You are the first person. Please appreciate them. I believe there are people. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They are coming. Koinonia, celebrate them. Inside and outside. Thank you for the courage. We salute your courage. God bless you. God bless you. Keep coming. Keep coming. It's a new day. It's a new season. You are saying goodbye to yesterday. And God gives you the gift of tomorrow. To remedy for the mistakes of yesterday. Thank you Jesus for these ones. Keep coming. Keep coming. God bless you no matter how far. Keep coming. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed of anybody. It's a personal affair tonight. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. I salute your courage. For those of you who took out the time to come. Lift your right hands and from the depths of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. I want you to say after me Lord Jesus. I love you. And I believe in you. I believe you died for me. I believe you shed your blood. To set me free. I receive that freedom tonight. And I receive eternal life. Into my spirit. In the name of Jesus. From today. I declare. That I'm born again. I'm a child of God. Holy Spirit. Come and live in me. I make up my mind. To live for Jesus. All the days of my life. Forward ever. And backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for making that decision. Let me pray for you. Father, preserve these ones. You brought them out by your power. Preserve them. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May your Christian experience be authentic. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you so much for making this decision. Where are they following? Okay. You have a gentleman just lead you. That gentleman waving his hands. Please just follow them. They'll have your details and you'll be back to your seat. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Please, all those worshiping with us for the first time. If this is your first time attending any of our meetings, we love you. We celebrate you. Please rise up on your feet and just come out here. Koinonia, celebrate them. All who have come from far and near. This is your first time. You are very, very welcome celebrate them appreciate them thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you no matter how far come there is a blessing for you there is a prayer for you the lord brought you here to bless you thank you so much koinonia is this the best you can do lord jesus we thank you for bringing these ones hallelujah hallelujah Thank you so much for coming all of you who took out the time to come we really celebrate you we appreciate you hallelujah this is koinonia ministry put together a program put together by eternity network international thank you so much for coming we are here every friday 
not this exact venue but every friday as god grants you the grace you always be a blessing having you around praise the lord we have a blessing in the house and this is the gift we release to everyone who comes and i want the saints of god to stretch their hands and just bless you i want you to receive it please bless them prophesy you have a blessing upon your lips i want you to speak it we bless you let the hand of god be strong upon your life in the name of jesus we bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit we bless you with passion for god in the name of jesus we bless you with advancement we bless you with favor we bless you with speed in the name of jesus may you experience the power of god strong in your life we bless your finances let the heavens be open over your life in the name of jesus thank you again for coming we love you and we celebrate you now we just like you to follow the ushers that gentleman waving his hands and they welcome you more warmly on our behalf hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you